can't hear him. I can't hear you. What are you talking about? I don't know. I don't know what he's talking about. I have no idea. I'm just going to put it here. I have no idea what he's talking about. Bucker, she's always getting me wrong and I can't get to her. She never listens to me. She never looks at me at the right time. It's just so frustrating. Every time. Oh, damn. It's always damn different. So we have just received this uh, Solicon um, headsets communication. So let's see what it's all about. Solicon C1 full duplex wireless intercom headset is Hollyland's first true wireless system with no belt pack or base station. You can add up to eight units without a hub. Built on a stable platform with powerful encryption technology, no one else can hear your conversation. Designed with dual antenna diversity system that removes any interference and guarantees secure and constant team communication. Its directional microphone captures the speaker's voice precisely while minimizing the environmental noise. Each headset comes with two lithium batteries. Each battery takes only two and a half hours to recharge and can last up to six hours. Each headset comes with a replacement ear muff and a mic sock. They have an auto muting system by lifting the microphone upwards. The concave and convex design of the volume buttons provides blind operation experience, making you work more comfortably and conveniently. These really are fantastic. I mean, you, I can't tell you, if you've got a long boat and you're coming into the marina and, the, the, you know, your crew's at the other end of the boat and you're having to bellow and shout, and that's something I don't want to do because there's nothing worse than seeing, you know, the skipper of a uh, crew bellowing and shouting at each other as you're coming in. Everybody starts to watch you. It's embarrassing, even if you're only trying to communicate. And these just make it so easy. They're so comfortable. Um, they're very, very clear to understand what's going on. And uh, I think it's an absolute must for anybody who's got a, like a, a 40 foot boat and beyond you know uh, just be able to communicate and another thing you could use them for of course is if you're up the mast because how many times do you hear people shouting up and then going I can't hear I can't hear the winds blowing or whatever and they've got little muffs on here so that the wind doesn't uh, create all that noise so I think uh, for the average yachtsman who's um, uh, cruising around the world and going in and out of marinas and things like that I think these are just a, a, a brilliant addition to your kit. Uh, what we're going to do is uh, one of us is going to walk to the other end of the marina and uh, we're going to see how we get on but it's a very very windy very, day. Very very windy day so I don't know yeah. how this will work. Yeah. yeah yeah I mean we might get a lot of uh, uh, wind noise basically over the headsets but anyway we're going to give it a go check it out and see what happens. Yeah let me turn my camera on. Yep you turn your camera on and uh, here we go. Here we go. Right. So we are off. I can hear Carla perfectly at the moment. No surprise there whatsoever. Yeah, I can hear you very well too. So we're already uh, way over the length of a boat. You can see Carla down there. And another interesting thing is that we're going to be um, separated by all the masts and everything that are in the marina, which from my experience of using this sort of equipment in the past in the AV industry often causes uh, sort of cut out and interference and things like that um, due to the metal basically interfering with the signal. So far I can hear you perfectly still. There you go, she can still hear me. I can still hear her. It's wonderful. Very good. I'm very impressed actually. Uh, they're very comfortable to wear. That's one of the things that... Uh, very, very comfortable really. Yeah, because yeah. a lot of these headphone systems can be very uncomfortable. And uh, I know my technicians used to curse me because I didn't have the uh, best sets of uh, headphone systems in the world. And uh, they used to moan about making their ears hurt and things like that. Poor, poor darlings. <laughs> poor darlings. I'm approaching the corner now. It's going to be very windy when I turn on the corner. So I don't know how it's going to work. But if we come this far, it's pretty good, isn't it? I think so. I mean, I, I can hear you perfectly. It's just like almost your next door. And the wind noise isn't too bad actually. I'm surprised. I thought the wind noise would be a bit stronger because um, you get it on the microphone. So uh, more than uh, more than fit for purpose, I would say, uh, on a boat. Um, certainly anything up to a hundred foot boat would be no problem whatsoever, even longer, I'm sure. And by now we're getting a lot of uh, things in the way, metalwork and uh, various things like that, masts. 
um, superstructures of boats in between us and uh, they still are working very well, very well indeed. Okay, I've got a bit of distortion coming in there, but I guess you're going around the back of the building. But I'm, I'm about to turn the other yes. corner, so I'm the other side so, of the building. I can hear you, but you are just starting to break up. But I assume that's because you're past the restaurant there. Yeah, and we've got the building in between us. Um, so that's causing a bit of interference, I think. You'll probably get me back in a moment because I'll be out on the other end of the marina here. I, I and then, can hear you perfectly now. Yeah, I can hear you perfectly now. It's okay. um, more line of sight. I think the building caused a bit of a distortion there, but um, there's an awful lot of masts in the way and things like that. And all in all, I think it's um, a very impressive result. Very impressive. Yeah, really, really, really nice. Is. Really I, is. I can see how these will help us on the boat. And uh, undoubtedly, it's, it's going to be a wonderful thing um, because there was always a problem communicating. I mean, our boat was 40 feet and we're hoping to get a 50 footer next time. And when you're there and you're coming into a marina or something and, you know, Carla doesn't quite know what I'm doing or I changed my mind because of circumstances, it's, it's um, you, you know, great to be able to communicate properly. Yep. And not just, uh, okay. Well, what I'll do is I'll try and measure this on the map and uh, let you know how far apart we are and uh, how well it's working.